parents of young children have been overdosing me with lots of questions about what to do if that child eats or drinks something poisonous. Well, since March is National Poison Prevention Month, let me see if I can provide a few suggestions. There are more than two million accidental poisonings that occur in this country every year. Most of them occur in the home, and about half of them to children under the age of six. So, while no parent wants to see their child eat or drink something that's going to make them sick, accidents can and do occur, often right before our eyes as a child reaches out and grabs within their reach a personal care product, a medication, or even a cleaning agent that they shouldn't otherwise have next to them. So what do I recommend? I recommend that you secure all your medications and personal care products high and away in a secure medicine cabinet. And in addition, you want to also check your handbags and purses and get the medications out of there because kids love to explore in a handbag or a purse. You also want to make sure that you have safety caps on every medication, prescription or non-prescription, in your household. This doesn't make a medication child-proof, but it makes a child resistant. So you're apt to find your child at least trying to get into the medication before they get the medicine into their mouths. What about household cleaning products? Well, again, secure those high and away from your children. And if you have to put them under your sink in the kitchen, put a lock on the cabinet by that sink. Never put household cleaning products in food or beverage containers that resemble foods and beverages that your young child likes to eat or drink, or mistakes can happen. And if you're having a party, clean up the night of that party rather than the morning after so your children don't come down and find leftover alcoholic beverages, which is another situation for an accidental poisoning. Finally, if you're worried that your child has gotten into something because there's a change in their, in their actions, in their ability to breathe, they're vomiting a lot, or they're just not as alert as they used to be, call the Northern New England Regional Poison Center at 1-800-222-1222, and they can provide assistance and even activate 911 if this is a medical emergency. So hopefully, tips like this will be easy ones to ingest when it comes to working hard to protect your children from an accidental poisoning. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from Vermont Children's Hospital of Fletcher Allen reminding you to always be first with your kids.